Welcome to Monday Measures Detox Day Number Two. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. We, okay. <laughs> So detox day number two, and I am so glad that it's easy because I was going to make them in these little cups, these single serving cups, but I realized our bananas are really big, so they're not going to fit in there. And I'm making two, so I'm going to put it in the big blender. Plus I want to get extra ice because my blueberries are not frozen. I usually make make it with frozen blueberries. Uh, so it's a smoothie and it takes a cup of blueberries, a whole banana, a handful of spinach, and I have to look at the recipe real quick here. A half a cup of cranberry juice. So I've already got my ice in the blender. Ugh. And our bananas come to Alaska really green, really green, <laughs> usually. In the summer, they're not so bad. In the winter, they come really green, and it helps to prevent them from getting frozen when they get shipped. So they're really hard to open from the top. And honestly, that is not the way you're supposed to open your bananas anyway. You're supposed to open them from the bottom. It's so much easier. It's just easy to think that the top of the banana is a handle. Yeah, I am really tired. I was up late last night and edited the video and so, so this is two cups of blueberries. That's the rest of our blueberries, so that's all going in there. And it does just say, yeah, it just says a handful of spinach. But see, it's already filled that up. My experience is this spinach is probably going to have to be mashed down. A little bit more in there. I think I shook that already. Shake it again just in case. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh my gosh, look at how colorful that is. Okay, noise! Well, you can really hear the water dripping outside. It's supposed to be 60 degrees today. 
we went right from winter to summer. It's been 50 all week. <laughs> Leftovers. Here we go. Smoothies. Now to me, that's a lot of sugar. I'm going to just sip that until we have our lunch. Lunch is next. Day two, and we're posting lunch. this on the second week. Yeah. yeah. Lunch. This is lunch. We already had breakfast. And it's a tomato stuffed with tuna. And have, Mary can't have, I almost said better. <laughs> Mary can't have avocados because she's allergic. So I'm going to do mine with the avocado. And then for consistency, we're going to just add cottage cheese to Mary's. And she has added like a little bit of mayo before, so we'll yeah. see. <laughs> I don't, she can see what it tastes like and if she doesn't like the consistency, she can put some mayo in there. Yeah, but this, I really like this lunch. It's really good. Yeah, and I'm not going to make it look fancy like they do. Um, I'm just going <laughs> to... Tweety Bird. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm just going to... Um, Cut, chop up the tomatoes and put it all in a big bowl. So. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I forgot the bowl, Mary. Uh -huh. uh, it's mostly just your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like tuna over here, and the dogs are all <laughs> going <intrigued>. crazy. <laughs> it's like when you own a or open a can of tuna when you own a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs like tuna tea. Okay, so she's added the tomato, and now to her own bowl, she is adding the avocado. <laughs> we had to get bigger bowls. Yeah. <laughs> we had an extra tomato because Mom was thinking three people if, like, Heather was going to do this. But then she forgot Heather didn't really, like, wasn't going to do the diet. So, so we just split the third tomato into each of ours so it gets yeah. used and stuff. But I was telling Mama, I was like, that's probably fine because it's not like a calorie counting diet. It's more about the, the types of food you're eating. Yeah, and tomatoes don't have a lot of calories. Yeah. The avocado does, though, so I'm not going to eat that other half of avocado. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it calls for six ounces of tuna. So the dry weight of the tuna without the water in there, we drained it already, is six ounces. I apologize for any of you who are irritated by the bird sounds, but he's just happy because the sun is out and he squawks a lot. He doesn't sing. He sings sometimes, but he just, he's a squawker. <laughs> okay, we have removed the bird for a bit, so maybe it'll be a little quieter. <laughs> he's going to go take a nap. <laughs> Mary's here. Yeah, I get the cottage cheese. I love cheese, so. And I love cottage cheese, so I'm excited. Cottage cheese. And then the tuna. Yum. Let's not use that spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't use that spoon. <laughs> When I did the pantry, we did it so quick, I wasn't thinking that we, um, I didn't rotate my foods. I just threw them in there because Mary put them in the boxes, the cans. So now I got to go through and get my, get all of my cans all organized by date. 
So, the kip has arrived. He's sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding the feta over there. They're all like, for us? <laughs> for me? And one tablespoon of feta cheese. It's got cottage cheese on there. Half a tablespoon of dill. And I'm not putting lemon juice on Mary's because she got cottage cheese in there. Do you want lemon juice? Um, eh, I don't need it. And I drizzle it with lemon juice. And you serve that with a cup of red grapes. Oh, we get grapes too? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Yum. Oh, it looks so delicious right now. That's the thing about all these delicious veg meals with all the vegetables in it. They all just like look so colorful and tasty. Mm-hmm. There's a cup of grapes. So day two dinner is vegetable stir fry and it calls for brown rice and tomorrow's dinner calls for brown rice. So I just cook up a bunch all at once and uh, we'll use it and then what we don't use, Heather will use <laughs> because we like rice. So I'm cooking my brown rice according to instructions. I got a little bit of olive oil in there so it doesn't stick because I've got a lot in the pot there. <laughs> so this is gonna make um, six cups. So I'll let that cook. And if you haven't used brown rice before, brown rice is more nutritious than your white rice. And oh my gosh. <laughs> brown rice is more nutritious than your white rice. And um, you know, it's, you process this a lot slow, slower, so you get all the nutrients out of it. I got distracted by my hair. <laughs> Brown rice, um, you know, I can eat that and I can do pretty well. The white rice I don't do so well with. So, it's, it is, it's more nutritious for you. And uh, it takes a lot longer to cook though. That's what it was. It takes a lot longer to cook. So it takes about 50 minutes to cook where white rice only takes you know, 15. So you gotta account for that. <laughs> That's why I make the batch tonight because you know I don't wanna make it tomorrow. So we'll just have leftovers and he heat it up. So I'll let the rice cook and then we'll show you what the stir fry vegetable looks like. So I washed my mushrooms, my broccoli, it calls for one cup each, so that would be, you know, two cups each for me and Mary. And then a half a cup of uh, that soybean adamami. So that's one cup for me and Mary. And that's all going to get fried together in the stir fry with uh, tamari and olive oil. And then I'll go over top of the rice. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of olive oil in our pan. And six tablespoons of tamari. I hope I have enough. I thought I had another jar here and it doesn't look like it. Three, four, 
five. Oh my gosh, just enough. So we're going out tomorrow. Um, one of the recipes tomorrow calls for tamari. So I guess I'm going to have to get some more. <laughs> but we had just enough. Yay! So I heated up my oil and my tamari. I got all my veggies ready. My rice is all done. You can't see it in that picture, <laughs> but it's done. Probably should have had this hotter. You can hear it sizzle. I'm just going to cook it until it's tender. That's usually however you want your broccoli because everything else is going to tender up really fast. Yeah, we like our broccoli pretty tender. So it's going to be a little bit. So if you can tell, it's cooked down quite a bit. And it's done. There's a lot of sauce in there. See all that sauce? That's going to go over top of your rice and make it more tasty. Get this plated. Fluffing up my rice. <laughs> you seem to say fluffying a lot. <laughs> well, no, the bird is fluffing up his cage. You're ah. fluffing up your rice. That looks like a lot. A cup. I remember this dish feeling like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> This is always the one that took me forever to finish. Well, my plate's a little bit smaller too. I'm just gonna guesstimate half. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that burner's hot over there. Oh, your elbow's by it. Yeah. That's our dinner. Day number two. Day number two, finished. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So we hope you enjoyed the video. And <laughs> sorry about us in the beginning. We've been kind of out of it. The detox, the first few days made us really tired. And usually it picks us up because it's all the, you know, your good foods and your energy foods. And 
and your and your good grains and everything but we finished the whole five-day detox and we're doing the leftovers so it's been a week now and uh, and we've now we've got energy and now we're starting to feel better and things are not hurting as much <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's over there. and uh, we you know we're just gonna keep this is the clean eating diet that I wanted to do in the beginning when I first started the Monday measures and we were doing it um, we were desperate trying to find recipes that you know I knew were real similar and you know the paleo and keto ish and and the low calorie and you know the way we should be eating you know lots of produce and oh gosh oh God, always with the hair and um, so we took measurements and Mary where's Mary Mary lost three pounds okay Mary Mary lost three pounds man those three pounds make a big difference yeah yeah and I lost 4.2 pounds so that's the first week and we haven't taken measurements yet today so maybe we'll talk about that next week um, <laughs> yeah drink your water lots and lots of water and I I was like three days into it and I was like okay all this produce and I'm not doing my business <laughs> and <laughs> and you know everything I was reading drink more water drink more water and I was really pounding down the water and uh, finally I took a ton of magnesium and you know that's gonna make you go so <laughs> So, and it took a long while for it to work. I thought, you know, usually it works overnight and, um, yeah, but, you know, once I started, then I think everything readjusted. That's kind of TMI, but you know, that's the way diets go. <laughs> so, so this is week number two and, and, uh, the detox day number two and, you know, uh, like we said, the diet plan is up on the community part of the YouTube channel. If you go to our page and hit the community tab, you can see the whole diet plan there if you want to do it. And um, yeah, we're going on with the leftovers. We've got probably a couple more days of those leftovers and and then uh, and then we'll have to go buy some more produce. <laughs> and. I always said I'm gonna start shopping at the co-op. Um, it's one of it's our local market, and you've probably seen that in some of our past uh, YouTube's. But I'll probably have it on uh, our third week because we'll be going there from you know from now on. Um, some things are quite a bit higher, but their quality is really really good, and um, they're their health food section well the whole thing is health food but you know the the boxed food um, processed stuff that we're not going to try not to do um, that's all price comparable to the grocery stores because the grocery stores here don't carry health food you know I mean when they they do but it's pricey are you talking so. about the co-op yeah yeah see here's their little their little flyer and I don't know if you guys, because these are members, member owned, so people have these in their neighborhoods, you know, and this is ours. And uh, I don't, I think, I'll have to ask them how they do their, uh, their mailings, because I don't know if they, they get to pick and choose what they have in their stores, and then those go into the flyers, or if these are all flyers uh, that are that are um, like, like mass produced, oh. you know, for all the co-ops, you know, everywhere. So, yeah. So, we'll let you go and watch Wednesday's video. I mean, it's spring, the things are happening. <laughs> we got lots going on. I don't know how long Sunday's video was, but, um, you know, well, we're, oh, you know, Wednesday's video is going to be Denali. So, yeah, because we're going to go to Denali on Monday. I don't know if Denali will be out. It's supposed to be clear here um, 
but I, I was looking at Denali's forecast and it's supposed to be cloudy there, of course. So if it's cloudy there, Denali's not going to be out. But cloudy might not mean, and I don't know where the weather forecast comes from. I think it comes from way back in the middle of the park, you know, because it's hundreds of thousands of acres. <laughs> it's crazy how big it is. Um, the road goes back 50 miles, I believe, back to an old gold camp back there, which is now owned by a native corporation. So, Kintishna. So, all right, we'll let you go for this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Watch uh, Wednesday's video, and then keep track of us, and let me know if you're doing the diet and how you're doing. And, and uh, I heard that people get gained an average of 15 pounds during quarantine. You know, big surveys that they've been doing, uh, you know, all over the world, not just here in the United States, but, you know, yeah, I mean, they closed gyms and you could door dash food, you know, so what do they expect? You know, everybody's going to gain weight. It's crazy. So, 40 pounds, uh, you know, that's a lot more than 15. I did not expect to gain 40 pounds over this. So, <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all later. Bye.